hi folks. No, it's three days later, or 72 hours later, and we're going back to go ahead and put our marinated steaks on the grill. Um, as a recap of the steaks, we had marinated them in some Worcestershire, um, some cumin, some dried uh, thyme, as well as fresh thyme, and um, some papaya enzyme by, uh, by Lowry's, which is the Adolph seasoning. We also put a layer of onions on top with some olive oil and garlic. We put them on the grill. Half of them are cooked at this moment in time. I'm going to go ahead and turn the steak over. Look how beautiful that looks. When you have a bone and you have a little onion on it, you're always not going to. You're going to have a little imbalance um, where you don't have a grill market, but that's okay too. So remember, a steak is as done as how it is according to your palm. So if you want it, if you want it super soft or rare, you're going to open your hand like this, and that's going to be fairly rare. If you want it medium well, you're going to touch here, and that's going to give you your resistance. That's how you know it's going to be medium rare. So in the middle, it's going to be medium. So anyway, those are little tips when you're cooking meat, whether it's a T-bone or a ribeye or a sirloin, that you want to keep in mind. Um, it's something that you, you know, we don't have steaks every day of our life, so um, we have to get in the, in the process of remember some of those things. When you do, you're going to have a better outcome. Your meat's going to be the doneness and desire that you're looking to have. So we're going to go ahead and let the meat cook, and we're going to come out to you in the next segment. Hi folks, this is Monica Dibel from MJ Foods Corner Kitchen. Now we're back at you, um, finishing up our steak profile. And what I have done is I have paired it with a grilled corn on the cob, uh, basted it with a little bit of margarine, and we've also added sea salt and our secret weapon, which is a Magic Bayou Mesquite salt. Um, then we put it to together with a baked potato. I did not put the baked potato in the oven. I did it in the microwave for about 10 minutes. And it's seasoned with garlic salt on the inside, lari seasoning salt. Um, we've topped it with fresh homemade ranch dressing, which is my favorite, as well as green onions and some um, imitation bacon bits. You're welcome to go ahead and fry some bacon, but I always keep these because this is this is my lazy streak. So um, these are always great to have. They're good on salad as well as on the top of a baked potato. And that's how we have it dressed. The steak came off the grill. And I added just a little bit of um, the mesquite salt as well as a little bit of melted butter. And we, you have a dinner. You're welcome to add more butter to your corn if you like it, if you're a butter person, or just eat it as it is. What a beautiful plate we have. So grilling it when it's winter time with a little <laughs> grill in your kitchen works so fabulously. You don't have to go out in the cold, light your barbecue um, or your brick cats and hope that they they run perfectly. So buy yourself a double grill that goes over your burner, and you can grill like it's summertime right in your own kitchen. Coming at you from MJ Foods, we invite your comments. Please email us at mjfoodsus at gmail.com. Love to hear from you.